It's ironic how you feel most alive when your heart skips a few beats, isn't it? I'm Jaidev, aka JD, and I knew Jolly and Shivam as they are fellow trek leaders in Bangalore. The three of us lived that experience recently, for we had decided to push our limits this year. They both decided to take a break from alpine style treks and rather chose to do an expedition. And I was anyway looking forward to attempt one of the difficult 6,000 peaks, my third one. They convinced me to join them. We chose Black Peak. Safar, kaisa hai ye safar? Manzilo ki na hai koi khabar? We met our whole team in Dehradun that morning. Exchanged greetings, introduced ourselves, and started for Sankri, the starting point of our expedition. On our way, we stopped for meals, crossed beautiful pine forests, and collected our technical equipment as well. Jedi, do you have any views on this? I'm, I'm lost. N- nails, nails are priority. Yeah. Sir Jolly, ab Yamuna se kya apna tired hi kone ki wo mang rahe ho? We reached Sankri in the evening, strolled around for a bit, had our dinner, and retired for the night. Bura hai zamana, tu chalta kar na kar agar magar. Kaisa hai ye safar? ट <laughs> on top of a pickup truck Jolly sir 5 crore ka question aapki taraf aa raha hai is time pe aap kaun sa vitamin intake kar rahe ho Option A D option B C option C A option D D Okay I was also D D is also Shut up Option B which was A लॉक कर दो विच इज विटामिन सी विटामिन ए लॉक कर दो विटामिन ए तो ऑप्शन ही नहीं था तो क्या था बी विटामिन बी यस ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी विटामिन डी डी नहीं चाहिए वो डी नहीं आएगा सब डी इज विटामिन ए Taluka is the point where we were to start our approach from. The trail mostly goes through the thick jungle along the river Tons. All along the route, we crossed a few villages where we met the locals and the kids. We obviously had to stop and offer treats to the kids and play along with them for a while. After a long but pleasant trek, we reached Sima in the evening. We found a small eatery there and binged on most of what they had to serve. We then pitched our tents and then went to sleep after our dinner.
We woke up the next morning, had hot breakfast while admiring the stunning views around. We then packed our rucksacks for our next campsite, Ruins Aratal. The rucksacks felt a bit heavier today because of the previous day's exhaustion. It was sunny to begin with and the trail was moderate. We crossed beautiful meadows, numerous footbridges and thought it would be a pleasant trek, but nature had its own plans. When we were just about 3 to 4 kilometers from the lake, it started raining, our pace slowed, our hands were cold but paused under a tree for a quick lunch and the sight of our destination from here brought all our energy back. Sang was a Chinese monk. He used to carry a temple on his back. You look like that. You found the temple. Bhai, kaisa laga pehla bar is Himalayan trek ka? Bhai, mujhe three saal baad yeh poncho pehnne ka mauka mila hai. Yeah. Aur aisa vasool. Yes. Aur yeh bhi mere ko bahut dinon baad lagane ka mauka mila hai. Maza hai to bahut khushi ki mera gear use ho raha hai. ठंडी वंडी को छोड़ के बाकी सब तो ठीक है चलेगा दिक्कत की बात नहीं है बट रूइन सारा हम पहुंच चुके हैं ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट ये जो हमेशा ऑलमोस्ट ही रहेगा बट ऑल गुड भाई मारना मत भाई मारना मत मारना मत मारना मत सारा सामान अभी क्या अभी वापस चाहिए भर को वापस क्या अभी ही चाहिए कौन सा सामान सारी कॉफी सारा चवनप्राश सारे चौकोस ठीक है अभी निकालो अभी क्या अभी तेरे बैग में डाला था मैंने कल रात को फक व्हेन वी स्टेप्ड आउट ऑफ़ अ टेंट दैट मॉर्निंग वी सॉ द वेदर व and decided to monitor the weather for a bit longer and take a call whether to proceed to the next campsite or stay here for another night. Soon, we got our answer, it started snowing. We were not sure whether to feel happy for Shivam, who was witnessing his life's first live snowfall, or be concerned about the bad weather causing us to lose a day. The weather started to get better in the evening, so we decided to go for a short trek nearby to get a better view of the valley and get a bit of physical activity for the day as well. We also learned that the Ruinsara Lake is named that way because at its bottom grows a kind of moss that looks like Rui, which means cotton in Hindi. We returned from a short trek and retired for the night with hopes of a clear sky the next day. Today, we had an early breakfast. The weather was still not ideal but we took a call to proceed to our base camp, Kiarkoti. It was supposed to be a relatively shorter trek than the previous two days, so we decided that we'd have hot lunch at the base camp. We started from Ruinsara, praying to the mountain gods to keep the weather from getting worse, but I guess that wasn't enough. About an hour into the trek, it started snowing heavily.
time we weren't enjoying the snowfall that much because we were not in our tents but negotiating a very difficult terrain. Visibility got poor, the route started getting more and more slippery, our boots were all wet and feet all cold. We were still keeping our morale high and proceeded from can to can, finding our way up to the camp. And we did manage to reach the camp in good time, pitched all the tents in freezing cold with numb hands and then rested for the remainder of the day. जो भी पार्ट गीला था सब जम चुका है ठीक है और एक और चीज दिखाता हूँ जेडी जो जम चुकी है नीचे से और इसको मैं अगर फेंक के मारू तो लग भी सकती और ये शू जो हल्के से गीले थे ऐसे ही जम गए ऐसे ही हो गए ये हमेशा हमेशा के लिए Kiar Koti was the last point till where our mules could go. Beyond this, we were on our own, which meant this was our load ferry day. On load ferry day, the group shares the load of both equipment and supplies, drops it at a higher camp, and returns. This is done for acclimatization as well. So we ferried our load to Dharam Hodari. Ten minutes into the trek, we figured why the mules couldn't go beyond this point. This would turn out to be by far the most thrilling and life-endangering trek we do on this expedition. We had to cross quite a few active landslide and rockfall areas. The slippery loose mud and slushy snow hiding the trail, heavy rucksacks pulling our body weights back, nothing was in our favor that day. We lost count of how many times some of us had slipped and fallen. Exhausted, we reached our campsite. We pitched a tent there and offloaded our weights, but soon after a realization hit that we have to return to. But this time, the snow had melted and the dangerous trail now seemed very familiar and we reached our base camp quite easily. But कुछ भी कर लो दुनिया में कहीं भी चले जाओ यार ये पूनम कौन है यार ये पूनम को बुलाओ जरा ब्लैक पीक पे आज एक नाम लिख के गया है गुड मॉर्निंग जल्दी तरह टेंट के अंदर ऐसे शक्तिवान बन के क्या बैठे हो सॉरी बोल सॉरी 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 शक्तिवान बट बताओ तो तो आप टेंट के अंदर ऐसे स्नो ब्लाइंडनेस वाली प्रिकॉशन को ले रहे हो क्योंकि मैं चश्मा पहनूंगा चश्मा गर्म हो जाएगा मेरी बॉडी हीट से जेडी आपको इस बारे में क्या बोलना है The task for the day was same as yesterday with just one change there was no returning back this time The weather was clear and hence we had a trail not covered in snow But how could everything go so right for us? We found 
that there is no water source at this campsite. The one which was there earlier had dried up. Bhai, India, me kahin bhi chala jao. Taal laga ke kapde sukana bahut zaruri hai, kyunki geeli ho chuki hai sare socks. Dal do, dal do, taro bhai kacche banana sab. Next task of the day was to get down to the Bandarpooch glacier and fetch water from there. It was not an easy task. We split up, took different routes, and found a small water source and filled enough water to last our stay at the campsite. Hi, my Muda. पत्थर पे पैर रखा पत्थर निकला बेईमान पत्थर कहता मैं चला और उसके साथ गया मेरा जूता पानी में तो ये देख के पता नहीं चल रहा होगा बट ये पूरा गीला हो चुका है सो कहा पानी की कमी पूरी करते हुए कहीं कहीं से कुछ भी रास्ता पकड़ के बस चल रहे हैं 